All right, gonna date on what we're doing today. Ooh, some stuff on me already too. We're clearing out the barn area, and you can see we have a very hot fire going right now. That is crazy hot. I wish it was like a winter day. It's so hot. So. And then I got my neighbor over here. His name is Randy. He's been very handy in helping me clear out the barn area. You can see the electric meter is going to connect to it. He's working hard and tough out here. We got these huge stumps that we got to clear out with big roots. So he's been digging. I'll show you how much he's been digging out. I'm trying to get this out. We're going to try to hook it with a, a chain. And then Tara came home last night said we need to cut more trees. She did a little bit of the Bob Ross. So let's get a little crazy here. So we cut some around there. She's opened up to that big oak tree back there. So we're going to take that little oak there. But you can see the two big oaks in the back we're going to leave. We're going to take that little oak right there in front. Now that big pine's got to come down. So we're going to be taking that down. And then we're going to leave that other oak tree and then take that other pine and then that pine and that pine. I'm going to take it up to a sawmill and see if they'll cut me some two by sixes out of it and other wood for when I build the house. But let me show you why they have to come down. So out here we have a lot of clay and the clay is about five foot down, four foot down. So as the pines grow, they get to a certain point where they start hitting the bottom of the clay and then they start pushing up so you can see the mound pushing up it's just like a onion that'll start pushing out of the ground and then if a good storm comes it can blow it apart also if you look in some of these older trees you can see they started rotting in the inside it's because these were made for paper or wood because this was originally a tree farm and then when this tree farm went away they left some of these. But you can see this one's pushing up like an onion, nice and tall. So to show you the size of this tree, to give you an idea, there's a view of it. One thing I can tell you, when I went to cut the last one, you get a little shaky towards the end when you're seeing which way it's gonna go, because it's so big and so wide. It's hard to give you a perspective, but yeah, that's not any good. It, it's thick. And, uh, the other concerning thing is you can see that one next to the power pole to give you a idea of the size and how high up it's going so um, obviously the goal is not to get over here when we have the beautiful barn out there we've got a three garage barn coming in after we do the slab last thing you want is a storm to come through and throw one of these beautiful babies on it plus if I get wood for the house and um, kiln dry them They'll be good, and um, we've got to see how much it's going to cost me to do that. Never thought of it until um, I saw the sawmill the other day and talking to my neighbor that maybe it's an idea. But you can see the two big oaks in the back. We're going to keep clear these others out, put some grass in, and um, let it um, let it go. So you just got a little crazy out here, as Bob would say. Got to take some, give some, and. Make your own portrait. Take care.